We head to Wilton. That's near the scene of a levee breach and heavy flooding and roads closed. CBS 13's Angela Mosalem is there. She's live with the very latest. Angela? Yeah, well, Sam Christina, water levels have been steadily dropping in agricultural fields like the one you see behind me, but some fields in Thornton are submerged and getting deeper after a levee broke overnight. Oh, it looks bad. Yeah. Yeah, it looks bad. Maria Sanchez spent her morning soaking up the site of the McCollumy River and the flood. Sanchez grew up in Thornton and says the flooding along New Hope Road is pretty common during the winter. I was young then. I think I was, what, 10 years old, 9 years old, and we had to sandbag and everything. I remember my dad had to get in the boat. According to the Department of Water Resources, the overnight rains caused the levee to break, bringing floods to agricultural land, a welcomed sight for Robert Jones. Luckily, I think everything's dormant, so it should be all right. Jones says these walnut trees were planted just a few years ago and shouldn't be damaged by the flooding. But the floods did plug up traffic for a few hours on both sides of Highway 99 with exits closed and the northbound side down to one lane. We're very concerned. Um, yeah, I mean, we have a lull in the uh, rain right now, but we're still seeing some runoff. Matt Robinson, a spokesman for Sacramento County's Department of Water Resources, says the county is worried about more flooding with the coming rain. Local reclamation districts in Thornton and Wilton have crews out patrolling levees along the McCollumy and Kasumnis Rivers, checking for possible damage that could lead to more flooding. Water levels are stabilizing in Wilton, washing away some threats of flooding, according to Robinson, but in Thornton. When we get all this big rain, especially up in the foothills, it takes a day or two for it to get down here. All that rain we had last night, that's a lot more that's going to be here tomorrow. And the evacuation order is still in effect for residents living in Wilton. I'm told Benson Ferry near Walnut Grove has reached flood stage. The National Weather Service is predicting it will peak sometime tomorrow when the rain returns. And this is not over yet. Angela Masalam live in Wilton. Angela, thanks.